first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so in this lesson number three on the topic calendar we are going to solve five question based on the concept called day of the week that is for leap year in the previous video that is in lesson number two similarly we have solved five question that is based on a same concept called day of a week but it is an ordinary year but now we are going to solve a question based on leap year so remember lesson number one is the basics introduction so without watching lesson number one kindly don't watch any other lesson because you can't able to understand anything in lesson number one i have clearly told that what is the difference between leap year and an ordinary year if it is a leap year then the last two digit will be divisible by four if it is a not a leap year or an ordinary year where the last two digit will not be divisible by four which is called as an ordinary year if it is divisible by four then it is called as a leap year and that there is a major difference between leap year and an ordinary year is for an ordinary year we will have only 365 days that is in fifth month we will have 28 days but if it is a leap year it contains 366 days and in fifth month we will have 29 days similarly now we are going to solve five question that is based on a leap year so remember that in previous video in lesson number two i have clearly told that the month which has 31 days will have three odd days and the month which has 30 days will have two odd days and for previous there is an ordinary year february month we will have 28 days so we took as zero odd day but here in a leap year we know that fifth month will have 29 days so if you split 29 days in terms of week and odd days so four week will be 28 days and one odd day so remember that 29 days in a fifth month will have one odd day so this will be the major difference between lesson number two and lesson number three so first question what day of the week was 12th march 1940 so what is our target our target to find this 12th march 1940 falls which day of the week what is your first target to check whether it is a leap year or not check the last two digit last two digit is 40 whether it is divisible by four yeah it is divisible by four so we can say 1940 will be leap year so let me write this 12th march 1940 by using a base value which i have told you in the previous video so this 1940 can be written as first 1600 years then another 300 years resultant will be 1900 if you add both the value 1600 plus 300 will be 1900 so remaining we have 40 years remaining so 39 years plus the last year 40th year our target to find 12th march so before march we have january february two months so before month we have jan month and fifth month and in march our target to calculate the 12th march that is 12 days so finally for 1600 years we know it's a zero or day and 300 years we have already learned it has one or day and 39 so for this 39 year our target to find how many leap years we have and how many ordinary years we have just divide by four so if you divide by four nine fours are 36 so we can say nine leap year and the remaining 30 will be an ordinary year next jan month so january month we have 31 days so 31 days will have three odd days so we can say for jan month we will have three odd day and because of leap year fifth month we will have 29 days so fifth month we will have one odd day so one odd day for fifth month and remaining will be 12 days so now one plus and every leap year will have two odd day so nine into two will be 18 and every ordinary year will have one odd day so 30 into one will be 30 so plus three plus one plus 12 so finally we add all the values so 12 plus 3 will be 15 15 plus 1 will be 16 16 plus 1 will be 17 so 30 plus 18 will be 48 so 48 plus 17 so let me add we get 65 so 65 divided by 7 in order to convert in terms of weeks and odd days so if you divide by 7 so 7 8s are 56 uh, 7 9s are 63 so we can say 9 weeks so 9 weeks will be 7 9s are 63 so remaining we will have 2 odd days so 2 odd days so we can say this 12th march 1940 will fall on the second odd day so second odd day will be tuesday so this will be the answer for the first question so tuesday will be the answer for 12th march 1940 that's it right everything is easy if you are strong in the basics only three things you have to remember for every leap year you will have two odd day for every ordinary year you will have only one odd day 
and for every 31 months you will have 3 odd day and for every 30 months you will have 2 odd day and because of a leap year 5th month we will have 29 days which has 1 odd day that's it you need to add all the values for finding 39 years right for this 39 years if you need to find how many leap years we have just divide by 4 if you divide this by 4 9 4 are 36 point something better leave the decimals right so 9 4 are 36 so we can say 9 leap years and 30 ordinary year that's it so finally we found totally we have 66 days and in order to convert the 66, 65 days in terms of week and order divide by 7 so we can say 9 7 are 63 so 9 week plus remaining 2 days so the 12th march 1940 will fall on second odd day so second odd day which is tuesday so this will be the answer for question number 1 question number 2 what day of the week was 18th april 1964 so first let me find whether it is a leap year or not so divide the last two digit by 4 so 64 divided by 4 yeah it is getting divisible by 4 so we can say 1964 is a leap year right so first let me split this 18 april 1964 as so first 1964 right so 1964 can be written as 1600 initially first 1600 years then another 300 years will be 1900 years so remaining we have 64 years and we can say this as 63 years initially for the 64th year our target to find 18th april so before april we have three months jan month fib month and march so we can say jan fib and march and the fourth week will be april 18th so our target to find the 18th april that's it so if you add all these value resultant will be 18th april 1964 and we already know that for 1600 years we have zero odd day and for 300 years you will have one odd day 63 years divide by 4 if you divide this by 4 so 1 4s are 4 remaining will be 2 that is 23 5 4s are 20 you don't want to go with the decimal point so we can say out of 63 years we will have 15 leap year so 15 leap year and the remaining will be 48 so 48 ordinary year will be jan month so jan month will have 31 days three odd day fifth month will have one odd day march again 31 days will have three odd day plus 18 so 15 and every leap year will have two odd day and every ordinary year will have one odd day so this can be written as 1 plus 15 into 2 so plus 48 into 1 so plus resultant will be 3 plus 3 will be 6 6 plus 1 will be 7 so 7 plus 18 so 15 into 2 will be 30 48 into 1 will be 48 so 48 plus 30 will be 78 so 78 plus 7 plus 1 will be 8 and this will be 26 78 add the value so 8 plus 6 will be 4 1 not 4 so divide convert in terms of week and days right if you divide this by 7 so 1 7 are 7 so remaining will be 3 that is 34 7 4 are 28 so finally we can say 14 week plus 6 days so this 6 odd day so which means 18th april 1964 will lie on 6th odd day 6th odd day which is saturday so finally we can say answer for this question will be saturday that's it so after finding the last value divide by 7 because we have to convert in terms of week and odd day so if you divide by 7 we got 14 week and 6 odd day so finally we can say 18th april 1964 lie on 6th odd day which is saturday will be the answer for question number 2 question number 3 what day of the week was 21st july 1632 so similarly a first target to check whether 1632 is a leap year or not yeah 32 the last two digit is 32 so it is divisible by 4 so we can directly say 1632 is a leap year so let me convert this in terms of this base value so we can say this 1632 can be initially written as 1600 plus remaining we have 32 years so 31 year plus the last 32 year our target to find 21st july and before july we have jan feb march april may and june totally we have six months right so jan to june then for july month our target to find the 21st day right so for 1600 years we have already learned for 400 years we are having zero odd day it's a multiple of four so we can say for 1600 year we will have zero odd day next is for 31 year divide by four if you divide by four 
7 fours are 28 so finally we can say for this 31 year we will have 7 leap year here and the remaining will be 24 so 24 ordinary year so plus jan month to june month so january month we will have 31 days so 3 odd day fib 1 odd day march again 3 odd day april 2 odd day may 3 odd day june 2 odd day then for july month our target to find the 21st day so for every leap year we will have two odd days so 7 into 2 will be 14 and for every ordinary year we will have one odd day so 24 into 1 will be 24 so plus what about the remaining values 1 2 3 we have 12 so 1 2 this 4 4 plus 1 will be 5 so 5 plus 21 so let me add all the values so this will be 38 and similarly here we have 12 23 I think 23, 33, again we are getting 38 here. So 38 plus 38 will be 76. So totally we got the total number of odd days will be 76. Divide by 7. So if you divide this by 7, we can say 10 week plus 6 odd day. So this will be the resultant answer. So finally we can say this 21st July 1632 will lie on the 6th odd day. So 6th odd day which is Saturday. So which will be the answer for question number 3 that is 21st July 1632 will lies on Saturday. Question number 4. So what day of the week was 2nd May 1920? So our target to find the 2nd May 1920 what was the day of the week. So we can first check whether it is a leap year or not. The last two digit is 20. It is divisible by 4. So we can say 1920 will be a leap year. So 2nd May 1920. So let me write this 1920 as 1600 initially plus another 300. So resultant will be 1900. So remaining we have 20 years. So 20 years can be written as first 19 year. And for the last 20 year our target to find 2nd May. So before May month we have Jan, Feb and March and also April. So we can say Jan to April then 2nd May. So 1600 we have 0 odd day, for 300 years we have 1 odd day, for 19 years. So first 19 years divide by 4, if you divide by 4, 4 fours are 16. So we can say 4 leap year and the remaining 15 will be ordinary year. And for Jan month 31 days will have 3 odd day, Feb month 29 days 1 odd day. Then again March month 31 days 3 odd day and for April 2 odd day and May our target to find second. So now for every leap year, we will have two odd days. So 4 into 2 will be 8. And every ordinary year, we will have one odd day. So 15 into 1 will be 15 plus 6, 3. And here we have 3. So totally we have 9. So 9 plus 2 will be 11. So let me add all the values. So this will be 19 and 20. So 20 plus 15 will be 35. Divide by 7. If you divide by 7, directly we are getting 7 5 is 35. So we can say this 35 can be written as 5 weeks, totally 35 days plus 0 or day. Got it friends? Because 7 into 5 will be 35. So we can say this 35 days can be written as 5 week plus 0 or day. So finally we can say the 2nd May 1920 will lie on the 0th or day. So 0th or day which is Sunday. So we can say answer for this. 2nd May 1920 will fall on Sunday. Last fifth question. So what day of the week was 2nd December 1816? So first let me find whether 1816 is a leap year or not. Last two digit is divisible by 4. So we can say 1816 will be a leap year. So 2nd December 1816. So first let me write this 1816 as 1600 plus another 200 years will be 1800. So remaining 16 years can be written as first 15 year and the last year for the 16th year our target to find 2nd December. So before December we have Jan month till November month then for the December our target to find 2nd December got it. So 1600 plus 200 resultant will be 1800 and another 16 years can be written as first 15 year and the last 16th year our target to find 2nd December and before December month we have 11 months that is January to November so Jan to November plus 2nd December got it so for 1600 years we know we have 0 or day for first 200 years we have 3 or day and for the first 15 years how many leap years we have divide by 4 if you divide this by 4 4 3s are 12 so we can say 3 leap year 
plus 12 ordinary year and remember that from Jan to November you don't want to write 3, 2, 1 like that because from Jan to November if you are if you are practicing more number of questions then you can directly say from January month to November month we have 6 months which has 31 days. So we can say 6 months which has 31 days can be written as 6 into 3. Friends got it 6 months will have 31 days and every 31 days will have 3 or day so directly we can say 6 into 3 plus and every 4 months will have 2 odd day. So we can say 4 into 2 and then 5th month alone we will have 1 odd day. So plus 1 and the last will be December that is 2. Either you can do like this or otherwise if you are a beginner write better like this Dece January month 3 odd day, 5th month 1 odd day and March month again 3 odd day. You are going to get the same answer. But if you practice more and more number of questions you should directly say from Jan to November totally we will have 6 months which has 31 days. So we can directly say 6 into 3 and 4 months will have 2 odd day. So 4 into 2. So plus and the remaining 1 is for January month that is 29 days and plus 2nd December that's it. So every leap year will have 2 ordinary day and every ordinary year will have 1. So 3 into 2 will be 6, 12 into 1 will be 1. So 12 plus 6 will be 18. So 18 plus 3 will be 21. So resultant will be 21 plus so this will be 18 and this will be 8 and 1 plus 2. Finally, let me add all the values. So 18 plus 2 will be 20. So this will be 30. So 30 plus 20 will be 50. So to finally, we are getting 50 days. So convert to 50 days in terms of week and odd days. So divide by some. So 7 week will be 49 days and we will have remaining 1 odd day. So finally, we can say this 50 days can be written as 7 week and 1 odd day. So the 2nd December 1860 will lie on the first odd day of the week. First day, of, first odd day of the week will be Monday. So this 2nd December 1816 will fall on Monday. So that's it. Finally, in this lesson number 3, we have solved another 5 question that is based on a leap year. In the previous video, lesson number 2, we have solved a five, similar 5 question that is based on an ordinary year. The major difference between lesson 2 and lesson 3, in 5th month, we will calculate 0 days because 5th month will have 28 days for an ordinary year. But for a leap year, in 5th month, we will have 29 days, so only we have taken one additional odd day. That's the major difference between ordinary year and a leap year. So that's it. Take your books, practice more number of questions. At least you should practice 25 to 30 questions. Only then you will get a clear idea how to calculate the day of the week. So thank you so much for watching this video and if you really like it, share it to your friends so that your friends can also learn this. So thank you so much. Bye.